This is Twit. Man speaks to killer from beyond the grave or... Yes, that one. An (laughs) army veteran shot dead in a road rage incident nearly four years ago appeared in an Arizona courtroom beyond the grave to address his killer, all thanks to artificial intelligence. Wait a minute. An AI video forgave his killer? Yes, an AI version of Christopher Pelkey appeared in an eerily realistic video to forgive his killer. Uh, To Gabriel Hort... Siantis, the man who shot me, it's a shame we encountered each other in that day in those circumstances, an AI-generated version of Pelkey says in the clip. In another life, we probably could have been friends. So this was a script written by his sister. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, written by the, yeah, by the victim's the sister. Yeah, the victim's By the family. He was and killed in a road rage shooting in 2021. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the, rea- the that's, <laughs> I mean, he might have been a little less kind in, in an actual yeah thing i don't know why they would show this in the court so it was an impact family impact impact statement so the the message message was was well received by judge todd lang who told the courtroom i love that ai thank you for that i felt like that was genuine that his obvious forgiveness reflects the character i heard about him today so the the state asked for a nine and a half year sentence but the judge gave him ten and a half years oh i guess it didn't really work no no this is it did work because the family was saying the impact was great on them and basically the state had asked for a nine and a half year sentence the judge ended up giving the murderer more after being so moved by the powerful video the the dead guy asked for forgiveness yeah but didn't mean he didn't want him to go to jail for (laughs) the, the family says the judge was so moved by the powerful video that the judge decided to give him a harsher sentence this this is is absurd but this is a fictional video that was made up should never been allowed in any courtroom that's appalling because it made it worse whether it made it better or worse true it's made up it's fiction yeah it's i just thought this was an absolutely insane I mean, happening just a just strange to, just use to of AI. devil's advocate here family doesn't know how to make video family doesn't write family doesn't know how to say what they think so they use ai to help them uh, express themselves fine if it had been the sister in an ai video saying this is my experience but she put words into the mouth of the victim who's dead and has yeah. no way to I agree. yeah has no agency and no way to consent that's and, absolutely and, absurd and the judge is saying well you know i think that's probably what he would have said we don't know no. if the sister says this is what i think he would have said that's different i think this is a real a misuse and i think it's just a uh, sets a potentially concerning precedent for something like this to be admissible in court even if it's just a victim impact statement i don't like the idea of uh, something uh, like this being used to potentially tug at a judge's heartstrings when it's a complete fabrication. So uh, an Arizona state professor of law, Gary Marchant, is part of a committee, a Supreme Court committee evaluating AI's use in court. So they are considering this. He said the use of AI has become more common in courts. This is from the article in the uh, Independent. Um, and if you look at the effects of this case i would say he says the value of it outweigh overweighed the prejudicial effect but if you look at other cases you could imagine they would be very prejudicial uh he says the system is trying to address the issues as proactively as possible they're trying to decide whether this should be allowed i don't even know why that's even a question it's fiction yeah it's complete fiction there was another case uh, a couple of weeks ago of somebody who was. Well, what's the what's the phrase when you defend yourself and you're not a lawyer? Pro um, bono? No. Uh, no. Pro, par, pro, pro se. se. Pro se. Pro se. Yeah. So I think it was a guy defending himself pro se who used the AI to speak. I think it was. I think it was. Well, he got in a little bit of trouble. He got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> the judge did not like that because, because the judge the was guy, fooled at first. The guy implied that this was a real lawyer instead of an AI generated video of a fake lawyer. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Well, I thought it was his own testimony. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>